So there's the app, there's the online video maker. And I'm going to start with the online video maker since that's where the magic of the solution really comes together. Um, what I want to do is I want to show you start to finish how you would create a video using our solution. And I'm not going to go into everything that you can do, but I'm going to go into probably about 80 to 90 percent of what you can do using our solution. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a very good sense of how to actually produce a video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do when I get in here is I'm going to go into create script. And once I'm in the create script, then I can write my headline, I can write my script, and then I can click send to app. And once I do this, it'll of course go over to my mobile app. So I'm going to show you that now. Let me just pop up my screen sharing for my device. Just takes one second to get in. Okay, here we go. So here's my iPhone and the app is going to look very similar on Android with a few differences. But for the purposes of the webinar, it will basically be exactly the same. So here we are loading up the app. And now all the scripts that I've written are appearing in the app. I can also write them within the app. I just click on this little icon up here. Um, but let's choose one that I've already written. So here we go, video statistics. I'm going to click right in on the script itself. And now at this point, I can turn my camera to landscape mode. And that's going to mean when I record, it's going to look a little more professional. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click up here in the camera icon. So I click on the camera icon and now it pops up this script on my screen. This is, yes, that's me. Hello everyone. Now you know what I look like. And what you're going to do here is you're going to record your video, of course. So when you record, all you're going to do in order to record is press this purple button on the right. There are a few controls at the bottom. It's going to look a little different on Android. The biggest controls you need to know about basically are um, actually, there's one big one, which is the control speed. It looks like the odometer there. So I click that, and it'll show me a preview of about how fast it will scroll. So I can crank that up, and it'll scroll, obviously, a lot faster there. It might look a little choppy on your screen because you're watching it through the webinar. In reality, it's very smooth. And once I'm ready, I feel like the speed is proper. I go over, and I click this big purple button, record. It's going to give me a countdown from five. That way I can get set, get in position, look in the right part of the screen. Then I can start reading. And right now, I am looking right at the text as it's scrolling. So as you can see, my eye actually matches up very well. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my computer, so it actually doesn't. But if I look at my smartphone, it's actually going to match up uh, super well with the eye line so that it looks like I'm looking right into the camera lens. And I'm reading this, the... I'm reading the script right off the screen as it scrolls. Then once I get the whole clip done, I just press again up in the on the right. I press the stop button, the, the purple button. And now it's going to give me the option to either do a new take or say that I, I like it. I'm done. Um, once you get a really good take all the way through, one nice take all the way through, click end. And at this point, to access the video that you just shot, you're going to click up here where it looks like the uh, little person in the top of the top of your device. So you click that and this is the recordings that you've done. So all you do is you click on one. And at this point, I'm going to upload it back to desk.bigview.tv. So now it's going to go back to the uh, site that I was just on. It's going back to my online video maker, back to my desk. And if you don't know, um, as soon as you make a username and password on either the device or on the desktop online, I mean, then the same username and password applies to both. So if you haven't been online, you haven't been to desk.bigview.tv, then if you registered for the app, you have access to it. And as soon as you upload something, just type in on your browser, desk.bigview.tv, and you're going to go in there. And it's going to allow you to log in with the same username and password that you have. And once you're in, you're going to see all of the scripts that you're working on, all the footage that you're working on, and you can go in and start editing things. Again, if you have questions, please do not hesitate to post them into the chat window. Now, 
at this point, the next thing to do is you're gonna go into the video that you just shot. Um, so in this case, it doesn't matter if it's a different one. Um, this is the one I did, but let's go into this one here. So you're going back into edit story. And once you're in here, of course, you see your script again. And on the right, here are all your takes. Okay, these are all the recordings that you've done, the ones that you like that you've uploaded back to the desk. So I click these three little buttons up here on on one of my, let's say I, I take my favorite clip, I can go through and select, you know, and, and preview them. Okay, this is my favorite one, why not? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here and it gives me a whole menu. And if I'm using a green screen background, at this point I can change the background. This is when I'm gonna wanna do it. And all I have to do is click over in here and it'll basically allow me to drag and drop. I can upload something here, right? In this, in this right panel over here is where a lot of your media lives. You can upload something, you drag and drop that, and now that's gonna become my background. Um, you can also use the things from the desk, what we call the desk library. So they have some graphics you can pull in, um, all sorts of little things. Of course, this is only available on the paid plan, which starts at $9.99 a month for a single user or $59 for a year. Okay, so once you've done your background change, what's gonna happen is it's gonna make a new copy of your footage in the same place, and it's just gonna say background change. So now you know, okay, that one is the one I wanna use, and then you go from there. If you're not using a green screen, obviously don't worry about it. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click into the menu. And what you wanna do, what I recommend doing is click add captions. Once you add captions, it's gonna say that your video is working on the captions basically. And once it has the captions done, you can check on the process by going over into this top menu, going over to task list. And I'll just show you that real quick so you know. Um, you can check on the progress of any tasks that are going on. It'll say the progress, task duration, and it'll tell you when it's complete. You can refresh and see you know, if the lines progressed. Once it's done, what's gonna happen is where before there was only a script, right? Now there are closed captions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna change it to the language that I want. So in this case, it's English and it's, automatically generated these captions with the proper timing of each word, each phrase, right? So from zero to three seconds, it's gonna display this. From three to seven seconds, it's gonna display this. So I just wanna go in here and I want to make sure that I do some quick editing. It's pretty accurate. When you start to get brand names and things like that, it's a little less than accurate. So go in here, just fix everything up. It's gonna be easier to do it now than do it later and then save captions. Once you've done that, you're gonna click back on the menu, these three little buttons again. Click in here, open in Composer, okay? This is where our Composer is, this is the editor. So you open in Composer, and it's gonna to to ask if you wanna automatically add captions to your story. Again, select the right language, click yes, and voila, it's now populated my video with video captions the entire way through automatically. Okay, and because I've changed them in the last screen, I shouldn't even have to edit them at all in here. Um, but what I can do is I can really s improve the text by choosing a different theme. So let's say, oh, I really like how that one does. Um, here's where my themes are, my text templates right here. So I can select any of those. I can click apply theme to all scenes. Each of these is a scene, meaning that, you know, it's gonna carry the same um, look the whole way through. And then maybe I wanna capitalize this word, I, right? I can go in here and edit. And uh, if I add a star before and after a particular set of text, then it changes the color based on the, the template that I have. If I add a slash before and after the text, it changes based on the template that I have. So I can go in here, I can go through my whole script and I can basically um, you know, spice it up a little bit and make it look really, really cool. And um, that'll take you know a few minutes to do. Personally, I think it's uh, it can also be simpler than that. And I'll show you kind of a I'll show you a special trick at the end here, a, a neat little hack to even speed up the process. So um, once I've gone through and I've made my text look the way I like, I can select the position of the text, and I can say if I want to add a logo, you add your logo right in the 
top left corner, only available again on the paid plan. And I can add a musical background here, right? I just clicked over on this music button, click music bed. You can add any of these music tracks. You can upload your own as well. I'll show you how to do that at the end. And you can change the aspect ratio by clicking up here and changing it like that, for example, which is really good for Instagram and Facebook. Um, it gets much, much, much better engagement on Instagram and Facebook and also uh, Twitter and LinkedIn and um, um, those those networks as well. A little less so. Instagram and Facebook will be the two main ones. YouTube, it's better to keep it the 16 by 9 ratio like is listed here. Okay. Um, what else can I do? I can change the effects of my text so I can have it coming from the left, go out to the right, for example, and now it's going to do a nice little transition. Then the next thing I can do is I come up here in these right panels, and if I've uploaded media, I can literally just drag and drop it into my scene. If I want to go to Pixabay, this is Pixabay here. Click here. This is Pixabay. It's online. It's not our library. It's an online library of stock photos and videos, it's all free. So I can search something. Um, since I have a puppy there, I'll find another puppy. Pull that in, okay. Drag and drop. And it takes a, a second to upload, but that's gonna appear in the video. I can go over to tweets. I can find a tweet. Um, it's on the theme of basketball and puppies, so we'll pull that in. Okay, that's gonna look really good. Come in here, add a transition to the slide, right? Go, here we go, left to right, there. Now, when I play that back, you're going to see um, it's going to look really, really cool. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. Okay, so you can get a little fancy. You can do a lot of things, but let's say you've added a few clips. You've added a tweet, and, you know, that's it, basically. Maybe you want to add an outro at the end. Maybe you have a nice little graphic that you like to end with. So you add that. Maybe you add some text. Join us at our website. You know, and now you're going to be able to see that. You put the text in the middle. And, you know, at this point, basically, you're done. In fact, you could be done earlier. You could go through, you could add the captions, and you could call it a day. I mean, that's a nice video for social. You don't need all this other stuff, but it's nice to have. Add in these clips. Makes it look a little more professional. When you're done, click Save and Make Clip. At this point, I can go to I – I can wait for it to render, right? And then once it renders, I can click on this little menu here and go to Export Video. And I can actually export it to any of my social channels, right? Except Instagram, of course, because that has to go through the mobile. For Instagram, I'm going to go back to my desk. I'm going to go, I'm going to download the story instead of doing export. Download the story, then pull it over to my mobile device, upload it to Instagram, for example. Um, I set my social links over in my profile. So I come in here, social links. You just click um, any of these, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Right, and it's gonna, just going to allow you to log in, and from there it's going to link, and you're going to see it here, and then at that point you can um, uh, you can export to that channel. Now, um, I promised you I would show you how to first of all upload audio. So I'm going to come in here, media library. I'm going to go over here to the right. I'm going to click add asset. This is going to pop up my explorer window, and I'm going to find the music that I want and just click open. And once I do that, it's going to pop up in my uh, media library here, but don't worry about it. It's going to automatically pop up as an option for your musical background because it's going to recognize it's a musical file. Now, I told you I would show you uh, one simple hack to um, allow you to um, make your text even easier. Here's what you're going to do. Only on the paid account, okay? $9.99 a month, $59 a year. Go over to channel branding. And what you're going to do, go over to titling and create template, right? Right here, create template. And what I suggest is if you want to make it really, really easy for yourself, don't worry about the special text, having to add the stars and the slash and all of that. Just optimize this, what we call the regular text. So what you're going to do, you're going to go down where it says text, not text with the star or the slash, just the text. Select a font that you think really looks, looks really nice. So um, that one looks pretty good. And I'm going to change the font color. Let's do a nice, like, deep blue. 
right? For example, you can do whatever you want. There you go. Nice deep blue. Uh, maybe add a, yeah, let's keep the shadows to a light, say light background. Change change the opacity up so the background actually shows up. And um, it might look better with the, with the darker background actually. There you go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so then once, basically once you've done that, now without having to change anything, your text will look like that. So what do I mean by that? Um, when I go back into my video, uh, for example, this one. So now when I go over to my theme, when I select this one, now all my text is going to play with this, um, this, this background here, right, and this color. And I don't think that looks super good, but you can change it. You can make it red. You can make it gray. You can make whatever color you want. And that way, basically, you have colorful text without having to go in and do all the stars and the slashes and things like that. Um, but, you know, it doesn't take too long. You can do those as well. So um, let's do a quick, really quick recap. I'm just going to walk through start to finish again, um, but not in, in detail at all or anything close to it. Just basically recap what we learned. Okay. So the process of creating a video. You're going to go to create script. That's the first thing. You're going to write your headline. You're going to write your script. You're going to send an app. Once you're there, you basically, the app is the easiest thing in the world. You basically, you know, you click a few things. You rotate your phone into portrait mode, right, so it's longer than it is tall. And you go ahead and you record your video. Just make sure you control, you adjust the speed properly. Get one nice take. When you're done with that, upload it back to the desk. And at that point, um, once it's back on the desk, you're going to go in to the same story, the same place where you built the story, right? Let me just show you. Title. It's just as an example, right? Send the app. There we go. Now, where does it show up? It shows up right here, right? So when I go and edit story, here it is. If I have takes, it's going to pop up down there. So once I've uploaded a take, now let's go into one that actually has takes uploaded. Here we go. Go in here, change the background if you need to. If you don't, add the captions. Once they're done, go over to the closed captions. Make sure you edit it. Check the spelling. That's it. Go in here, open in Composer, select the right language, say yes. It's going to automatically build your whole story. This is a very short story. And um, maybe capitalize the first word. Select a theme that looks nice. Apply it to all the scenes. Let's choose maybe this one here. Apply theme to all scenes. Put your logo in. Come over here and uh, maybe find one or two extra images and bring them into your video like so. And at that point, that's it. That's all you need to do. You can get a little more fancy, but... Really, that's all you need to do. Save and make clip. Wait for it to be finished. Once it's finished, click on these three on these uh, buttons again. Go to export. Export it to your social channel. That's it. Your video is online. You know, 10, 15 minutes, and your video is done.